Shalom. Welcome back to Crossroads. My dear friends, uh, a while ago we discussed the perspectives of Sabbath in the Old Testament and the Sabbath in the New Testament. And uh, Dr. Ray had given us a solid background uh, analysis of the shift of Sabbath to the Lord's Day. And it's not the Christian's invention, but it's Christ himself who fulfilled uh, the old law to the new law, the law of grace, not the law of the letter, but the law of the spirit. Other friends, in CCC, with brother again, no? we were going to ask this uh, person. Uh, sa CCC, Catholic Church, uh, 2177, nabutan rin nga, uh, ang sun, this liberation, is the heart of the church life. Brother, how would you explain this? No? Katawang sa sangamba sa ating CCC, Sunday celebration of the Lord's Day and the Holy Eucharist is the heart of the Christian life, of the church life. Ang heart, so Mm -hmm. uh, are you elaborate that to our reviewers? Uh, it's because if Christ did not resurrect on uh, the first day mm -hmm. or Sunday, according to St. Paul in 1 Corinthians 15, oh. uh, 14 and following, our faith is useless. Uh -huh. and we are still on our sins. So, since Jesus Christ resurrected from the dead, it is the day that we always celebrate. Mm -hmm. And every Sunday is a mini Resurrection Day no? oh, okay. or mini Easter. Easter because Easter is the time of uh, Resurrection of Christ. Correct, no? correct. Uh -huh. so, so in on Easter Sunday, Christ resurrected from the dead. So, if Christian, you must really go to Sunday Mass. Uh, okay, the, the heart of the church. Mm -hmm. no, but, 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 Actually, that is uh, our obligation. No? Obligation, sir. Uh, church obligation. Hindi niya kay request lang. Hindi niya. Obligation niya. Request kundi oh. obligation. And it is uh, commanded to us. Oh. Uh, both by the Lord, no? Oh. Kaya ang... Uh, kaya ang essence of the Sabbath observance of the Old Testament is still uh, preserved in the New Testament. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yung okay na, instead of uh, remember to keep holy the Sabbath day, mm -hmm. remember to keep holy the Lord's day. The Lord's day. Mm -hmm. And uh, in one of the five commandments of the church, we should observe uh, Sunday and other holy days of obligation. Mm -hmm. If not, we uh, commit grave sin. Yeah, okay. Grave sin, huh? Mm -hmm. uh, about obligation Sunday. Again, we will quote here the CCC on number 2180. Number 2180 of our Catechism of the Catholic Church. Paul to the Butandarina, uh, on Sundays and other holy days obligations, the faithful are bound to participate in the Mass. But the way, di lang niyang niyang mag baka, but you have to join the celebration. Don't it may bad bad out of the other young, Ilayam is in Basimba, though Korea don't attend dance for post Lavinia, no longer join. So it's not really okay, but I say, first day of it, that in Bukanda, Nikola Makanta, Nikola Sabatari, and one. Then go on as in Tauda, O Jens Lang. Oh, sir? O Jens. O Jens Lang. 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 To really participate, mm. di abang matindo kada. Mm. Kay uh, sila ni Saint Paul sa Romans chapter twelve verses oh. one to two. Oh. Make your bodies a living sacrifice, mm -hmm. and your mind also should not conform to the standard of this world, but be conformed to the gospel of Christ. Oh. So, ang Sunday worship is actually worship of whole being, body, mind, and uh, soul. Correct. With all our mind, with all our heart, with all our strength, and with all our soul. Yeah. That's why, uh, uh, Sunday oh. is the first day, oh. or the eighth day, oh. uh, sa Old Testament pa. At the same time, uh, if it is the eighth day, now from the first, day, from the first, second, third, fourth, well, fifth, sixth, and seventh, we prepare ourselves mm. so that the eighth day is really memorable uh, experience with God. So, the Monday to Saturday preparation is preparation. Coming Sunday, the Monday do la ino. Pag basa ni preparation sa Monday do kaya do lalo ko use nila. Pag Sunday ba na kasi baka ako pika po sa lahat ng perspective. So that's correct. No? Pero in tila, tell us nga, told us nga, ang Monday to Saturday is not just looking for money. It's a preparation of your life for the coming mini Easter. Mm -hmm. Correct? 
Correct. Now we join in active participation. But anyway, so in 1998, our late Holy Father is um, uh, happy memory, si John Paul II, nagatagsang apostolic letter, Deus Domini. Uh, I think it's about this on Sunday, no? Lord's Day niya. Ari gani? Ari, oh my, ato dinga the last bad way. Na muna yan, Deus Domini. Deus Domini. Nga apostolic letter of the Supreme Pontiff John Paul II on keeping the Lord's Day holy. So, can you give us the summary of this? Can you tell us what we need to write tayo basta sa ni? Ang summary of this. Yeah, punto da is that from the Old Testament to the New Testament up to the early Christians or church fathers. So, they all uh, respected the uh, the Lord's Day, no? Mm -hmm. uh, from Sabbath Day to the Lord's Day, they observe uh, uh, that particular day. Mm -hmm. And we Christians should also follow that, no? So, what uh, is the is the day of days, no? Wherein our families, mga children, kag, uh, even our neighbors, should go to the uh, church and observe it. No? Mm -hmm. So not just with our bodies, but with our uh, whole being. Our whole being. And this Domini is a Latin word, no? Bad way, mm -hmm. which means in English? Uh, Lord's Day. The Lord's Day. Day is, is Day, Domini is Lord. But also, no, to, to, uh, again, our, our pastoral perspective, uh, Bad way, uh, Andre, no? Sa CCC, uh, 2186. Christians who have leisure should be mindful of their brethren who have the same needs and the same rights, yet cannot rest from work because of poverty and misery. Though ako ya, no, though you understand this, though my, pwede though my social dimension, gani ang ato niya na Lord's Day, na hindi nyo ikaw ang mga lipay, kundi mindful ka man sa mga auto muda, na wala isang day of rest, gala abing ubra ba na? So, ikaw abing, no, in your work as a professor, so my brother was also a member of the Catholic Faith Defender, whom we were together before, although I am still right now in only in honorary status na wata ubra how do you advise these people man? mga blang mga linggo na ya ubra di apo kung may mga tao isa ya kung may mga linggo na ubra ya wala wala ka unun wala papa eh so yun ay rason ya ah God knows ah God understands me ang ubra na ubra lang ko ya ah simbang mo da sakpa lang ko sa misa niyo ikaw ni? actually the commandment of God Uh, is not given uh, in exception nga kung yeah. ka for ka except oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. sa oh. law oh. o kung mang granon ka exempted ka man no oh. parang si Tanan it is actually for the sake of human beings that from uh, the days of toil or work we have a rest day mm -hmm. it's for the sake of physical health also mm -hmm. mental health and uh, spiritual well-being but there are people halimbawa ang work ni Levy sa company or sa uh, sa mga ano na offices 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 so, sa schools o sa businesses so, so, Sunday so, the church is also lenient so, in giving them uh, chance to uh, to participate in anticipated mass no ah, Saturday okay. so, or kung gusto mo Monday naman no? Monday naman kaya may iba yung work sa hospital abing nga whole Sunday the correct. hospital correct correct so, so, the church is not really uh, dogmatic no so, nga amugin na nga Sunday gate but uh, you give one day to the Lord and uh, in that one day you care for the sick and uh, you feed the hungry so, and you can do works of mercy yeah. hindi lang yung uh, prayer or simba tama na but actually uh, the person is challenged to be charitable to his neighbor Ah, okay. Ah, so, ang mga utod, ah, sa isang pag-inap ng quotation doon eh, sa, hiniyayin yan isang PCP, the second, ah, Prayer Council of the Philippines, too, na butang doon eh, ah, ah, there's an urgent need to stress to our Catholic Filipino brothers and sisters that dapat kita may ito nga life as an act of worship. Ang kabuhi bilang akto sa pagdahil sa Diyos. Ray, Brad Ray, Dr. Ray, no? Life as an act of worship. Katawang sa nga linya, gibutang mo din sa ibang thesis, no? How do you explain this one? Kaya hindi lang niya ang kabuhi mo dininggong adlaw every day? Correct. Sa pag-worship? In your job, in your work? Paano hindi ka naman na tabo ni? Kung ibang mga sadyante ka dumuldumul? Sa klase ka? How do you put your life as an act of worship? Hmm. Uh, so, kanami, actually, ni isang uh, statement, isang PCP2, uh, 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 the whole of life is an act worship. Of worship. Oh, yeah, yeah. An act of worship. 
uh, we don't separate our our worship life from our uh, from our offices okay. from our job ikon no? separate na karon nya monday to friday pagan tapos pag sunday Isa, no? christian Eh, ano ang effect sa tong government no sa yeah, okay. sa tong nga country nga sa Congress ka di kwalta ng kwalta ng civil ka civilian ka. Oh. Pag linggo Kristiano ka. Kristiano ka. Separation. Hindi naman communion no. So, so uh, Monday to Friday you don't recognize sin. Oh. On Sunday communion ka man no oh. even though you're in the state of mortal sin. Oh. So that is actually uh, split no. Yeah. Even though we are uh we are mad, we are a Catholic country. Yeah. Uh, yet uh, there is the, the split level Christianity. Christianity. I'm not like it. ang effects niya bala sa ako nga pag pumatik ebad dry na mo discussion niya. Sibo ang effect ng business ni sabat ni mo. Ang effects niya kung ikaw bala ang balik ebad dry na mo kung Monday to Saturday kaya pagano ka civil civilian ka kasi ang Christian ka. Kaya ang sinasabi sa RH bill natin ng gambal ng mga Congressman na in the Congress kung bisita ko yah. Mm. Plus, yung bahan niya, kasyano ko yan. Mm-hmm. So, how would you... I mean, ano na, Bivan? Ikaw, Bivan? How would we answer them back? Bas, Leon, ang uh, Christian faith has not uh, has not penetrated uh, the uh, the whole facets of their lives. Yes, so... Te, ang gwa sina, hindi kita mo eh, we will do or we will uphold laws which are actually contrary to the divine laws or oh, natural law. to the natural law or the law of the church. Yeah. Teng gwa sina, ma-separate ang mga tao, na-separate ni kanya ang uh, oh, mga Catholic from ko, so those oh. uh, who are not accepting the church's law. No? Oh, correct, correct. But uh, in order for us to have harmony, kailangan ma-harmonize ni ang human law oh. with the divine law. Correct. Oh. Nasiling ni St. Peter sa Acts 5.29, we would rather obey God than man. Than man. Oh. Nga kung ang R.H. Bill niya, which is against natural law, against the constitutional law, oh. against the divine law, oh. we should not obey it, we reject it. Kay uh, ang gwa sina, kita gya po na masira. Yes. Sinanda. Ang mga big note, because nga may ibang tao, ang muli mo, nga ilang ba ba ilang ba nga perspective niya, nga kung Sunday, nga kung nga kasyado kung Sunday, pero if I am in the Senate, if I am in the Congress, come on, no? don't uh, touch my Christianity, I am your public servant. Ang mga ba 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 but the Bible never said that. Kaya yung mga writing sa iyo mo tisi sa Roma, sa ano eh? Kaban St. Paul, one mind, one heart, ano eh? Romans 12. Oo. Oh, mm. You must be in one mind. Oo. Oh, one is, heart. Okay. Um, the, the unity of the body of Christ mo ginapuntuan oh. ni St. Paul. Ang um, important nila nga uh, the whole of our being must be imbued with the Christianity. So that wherever we are, no, in our offices, in our work, to, uh, mas kisang Congress, mas kisang uh, Senate, Senate oh. we uh, become light of the world and the salt of the earth. Correct. Or else, um, wala sing progress ang aton nga life. Yes. Wala progress ang aton nga nation. Oh. Ang aton nga uh, ang meaning sing life ta wala sing plus. Correct. Oh, Todd, <coughs> you have seen a while ago in our discussion that ang sabat din nila magliya sa <coughs> pagsimba sa tumarod linggo. But as the our discussion progresses, ay effect gabi gali. Hindi naman nga kayo doktrinal sa sabat day kundi may pictures sa ito ng pabuwi moral. Mm. Ah, it's bill. Nasa sa topic. You see? So, hindi na niya, amun na sa atong hambal balis ang last natin nga episode na ang atong katikisan niya, complete niya, the creed, the code, and the cult. Mm. What I believe, what I do, and what I worship. They are connected, they are not dichotomized. And then, friends, in parting shot, you will give the way, time, the way, you have time for your parting shot, and you can greet your friends out there. Your mga pamilya, your mga friends, and your parting shot for our people who are worshiping God the Lord's Day, and of course our brothers and sisters who are remaining Sabbatarians themselves. Thank you very much, uh, brothers and sisters, for listening and for viewing this program of Dr. Ronnie Galizotti. I hope that we have learned many things from the Bible, from the church's teaching, and uh, from our discussion today and i would like to invite also our friends who are sabbatarians 
to look closely into the evidence, the New Testament <coughs> evidence and the historical evidence for the observance of the Lord's Day mm. always superseded the Sabbath day or Saturday of the Jews. Yeah. And so you invite Padre, people out there, our three viewers, see you mga contemplate mga radio program? Sa radio program, well, eh, I have a radio program in DYRL every Sunday, 6 uh, a.m. And then sa DYAF or Radio Veritas, ato nini nga radio, mm. Radio Toto, mm. uh, Saturday, 8 a.m. Tapos Saturday afternoon, uh, 3 p.m. Okay. Karan sa po, no? Tapos Sunday, uh, 3 p.m. man. Kag uh, Tuesday, 3 p.m. man. Nakuda mo sa programa ta. But uh, at the same time, ipasalamat ko nga uh, may TV program man nga kay Dr. Ronnie Galzote. Actually, isa lang na kami sa panghuna-una when it comes to apologetics or defending our faith and explaining to our brothers and sisters the fullness of the Christian faith which is found in the Catholic Church. Okay. So, dear friends, thank you so much for being with us in this one hour of episode of Crossroads. In our life, dear friends, we have to choose where we go, left or right, right up or down, and we have to choose between the Lord's Day and the Sabbath Day. But Brad Ray, a while ago, uh, discussed to us in our discussion that uh, biblical evidence tells us yeah, the Lord's Day superseded the Sabbath Day, and we have not only to have the Lord's Day, but to join actively on the Lord's Day, to attend the Mass. That will be tomorrow, Sunday, uh, October 1, we have to October 2, uh, to join the Holy Mass in active celebration of our Christian life. Okay, friends, uh, so go, as this show progresses, we can invite again Brad Ray for our forthcoming episode with me. And we hope and we pray to turn out in good health and God will bless your family, your home, and your job. And God will give you a time to rest, a time to be with Him on your leisure moment, resting with God in His ever loving presence as the river of life flowing with all the graces and blessings in your family and your life as well. May God bless all of you on this show, Crossroads. Thank you so much.